Unitree unveiled new video of its G1 humanoid robot running, walking, and navigating diverse terrain, as well as a video of its taller H1 humanoid robot dancing. Let's dig into the finer details of these videos and talk about what these new updates could mean for Unitree and the robotics industry in general. The newest video of the Unitree G1 starts off with what Unitree calls, quote, whole body walking, showing coordination between the robot's shoulders and arms, as well as a swing in its hips. The G1 looks to be walking a lot smoother in these videos than it was when I saw it in person just a few weeks ago at CES. The new video also shows the G1 running over uneven terrain, including rocky ground, uphill, downhill, sideways along the slope, and downstairs. The downstairs shot is particularly interesting because we see the robot land with its foot half on the stair and half off the stair, and we see how it catches itself and keeps on running. The H1 is Unitree's larger humanoid robot. At about five feet nine inches, it's over a foot and a half taller than the G1 and significantly more expensive. A recent video from Unitree shows the robot doing choreographed dance moves alongside dancers. The video's caption, written from the robot's perspective, reads, quote, I am now a comedian at the Spring Festival Gala, hoping to bring joy to everyone. Let's push boundaries every day and shape the future together. These new demonstrations from the H1 and G1 come just weeks after Unitree unveiled its new open source full body motion data set. To mark the occasion, a video from the company shows simulations of both the G1 and H1 performing a variety of dance moves. Unitree doesn't usually share a lot of details about its demo videos, except for a short video description on YouTube. A rule I always follow when analyzing robot videos is that autonomy should never be assumed if the company doesn't say it outright. We reached out to Unitree for more information and the company told us the robots learned these new skills with a combination of mimicry and video input data. The H1 Spring Festival Gala dance number was a preset routine made using data from real dancers. The company also said that whole body AI motion control was used to make the H1 robots move in sync, and that LiDAR scans of the environment allowed the dancing H1 robots to make small adjustments in reaction to unplanned changes or events. When operating in environments that have not been scanned by LiDAR, Unitree says its robots are remote controlled. I did get behind the controls of the Unitree G1 when I saw it at CES earlier this year. At the time, they told me the demo wasn't autonomous due to the crowded and dynamic environment, and the fact that the G1 hadn't had an opportunity to map the space it would be operating in. The autonomous robot demos I did see at CES were noticeably more contained, since robotics companies haven't yet solved the problem of making robots safe to operate autonomously in complex and changing environments. Walking is a really big deal in the humanoid robotics field. If it goes wrong, the robot can come down heavy and take damage. To protect their hardware and make their robots versatile and robust, companies have spent years trying to get their robots moving just right. We've seen similar outside the lab demos from companies like Boston Dynamics and Agility Robotics, both of which have shown their robots running, traversing uneven terrain, and operating outside. Agility Robotics' first robot, Cassie, didn't even have a torso. It was just a pair of legs and some sensors so the company could focus exclusively on nailing the walk. Unitree's new demos show that the company is making strides, literally, toward making its humanoids more capable, agile, and natural in its movements. What do you want to see these robots do next? Let us know down in the comments. And for more robot videos, check out this playlist right here. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm your host, Jesse Orl. See you next time with the fam.